Okay, so here's the problem statement of question number 5 of this exercise. The first term of an AP is 5. So let's actually write this information as we read out the statement. So A is equal to 5. The last term is 45. So the last term L is 45. And the sum of terms is 400. So S is equal to 400. And we have to find the number of terms. So we have to find N. And we have to find the common difference. So we also have to find D. So we are going to first use the relation for S in terms of A and L because they are given to us the first and the last term. So S is equal to N by 2 times A plus L. So this is what we're going to use. And this will give us the value of N. So let's plug in the values. So S is 400 equal to N by 2 times a plus l. So a is 5, l is 45. So 5 plus 45. So this is equal to n by 2 into 50. And this is equal to, uh, if we divide by 2, we get 25. So we get 25 n. So the equation we get in n is 25 n is equal to 400. This means that n is equal to 400 by 25 that's equal to 16 so n is equal to 16 that means the number of terms in the ap is equal to 16 and now we can use the value of n and we can find the value of d for that we are going to make use of the relationship nth term in terms of a n and d so nth term is a plus n minus 1 times d. In this case, the nth term is the last term, which is 45. So 45 is equal to a, which is 5, plus n minus 1. n is 16. So n minus 1 is uh, 15 into d, the common difference. So from here, we get 45 minus 5, that's 40. So 40 is equal to 15 d. And this means that d is equal to 40 by 15. And now if we reduce it to the lowest term, dividing by 5, dividing both the numerator and denominator by 5, we get 8 by 3. So D is equal to 8 by 3. So the answer to this question is that the number of terms is 16 and the common difference is equal to 8 by 3. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.